Hello everyone. Welcome to AVSwap. Today we are going to see how to send email using the Spring Boot application. I can say that it's very common and important operation in every real-time project. And yes, it is also interesting. So let's start with the coding. Now, if, uh, to send the email, we have to create one Spring Boot application. So right click new Spring Starter project. Provide the name to the Spring Starter project. The name is called as a Gmail uh, Spring Boot emails. Boot email, Spring Boot email. Let's say this is the application name. Now click on the next. Here select the mail. So Java mail sender, select a dependency called the Java mail sender and Spring web. That's it. Click on the next and finish. Now our application is created called as a Spring Boot email. So click here, create a new class called as a controller, or you can create a separate pa package also. So let's create here separate package. In a separate package, create a controller package. Controller finish and then create a new class called as a email controller. So create first simple controller. So we have to use here at the rate rest controller and then create one method. The method name should be public void send email and provide the URL at the rate get API get mapping and here provide the URL slash uh, let's say send email that's it now we are going to use a dependency called as a Java mail sender so here Let's auto wire this dependency or that class Java mail sender. Now, here that Spring Boot will inject that Java mail sender dependency. So, our next step is so our next step is configure the email. So, how to do that? It's very simple. First, create a message. So, there's a class. In the Java mail sender called a symbol simple mail message. So simple mail message message is equal to new simple mail message. Now after this add or set set to so here we have to set the email where we want to send the email. So let's say I want to send to the AV soft av24 soft at red gmail.com then m dot set from here you can set the from so here i want to set from i want to send the email to me only so the email id is av24 soft at the red gmail.com Then the next step is m dot set the body or text. Okay, subject is remaining, so let's set the subject first. Subject, and here in the subject, let's put something like uh, Spring Boot AV Soft Spring Boot Email. And then set m dot text. Text means body of the mail. Hi, this is from AVSoft. That's it. Now after this, we have set to set from set subject set text, and there are multiple option. If you see here, that get to reply get from CC get bcc and all 
but we need only a set CC, set from set date. So there are many options, but okay, we have taken only the basic option that or mandatory options here. Now, how to send that mail? So that mail message is ready. So we can send this message to that Java mail sender. So copy here, paste here and dot send email. How to send that? Put here M, that's it. Now our API is ready to send the mail, but how about the password and username? Yeah, that is important. So for this, we have to go inside the application.property. So this is the structure of our application. And if you see there is an application.property, so click here. Now I already copied some property here. If you see, let me show you. So these are the some standard property which required to the Spring Boot to configure the that Java mail sender. So you can copy it as it is. The important properties are username, password. That other properties will be similar for every program. But the thing is username and passwords are different. But this password is not your regular password. This is something provided by the Google for our Gmail. If our if you have any application like Spring Boot and we want to access our Gmail from that application, so for that we have to create a password or app password which is provided by the Gmail. So now if you want to create this password, so what to do? It's very simple. Click here. So you can see this is the URL. So you can co directly copy this URL and paste it here. Enter. Uh, before that, you can let me switch my account. Okay. Now click here and enter the that URL. So it is asking the password. Okay, so provide the password of your email ID. Now here you have to provide the app name. Let's say my Spring Boot. My Spring Boot email app. That's it. Not an app. It's app. Okay. Anyway, it's not matter. Create here. So it provide the password like this. So copy this password. And then you have to put this password here. It's very simple. So once you provided these properties to the Spring Boot application, it will get configured all the things. Now our application is ready to send an email. So save this and start our application. So click here and start the application. So before execute the mail, let me show you the controller code again and let's go through it. So what we have to do here, we have created the rest controller then we acquired the Java mail sender and then we are using the address gate mapping and we are provided URL called as send email. After this, we have created simple mail message is equal to simple mail message and we set that mandatory fields here. And by using the Java mail sender, we send that mail. So let's see, will it work or not? So go to the Google or Chrome and type here the URL as TTP localhost 8080 and then send that URL email. So let's wait what happened. Okay, it is working. It's showing it is working. Let's see. I have received the mail or not. Let me open my mail ID inbox. So you can see here. Let me refresh this. Okay, me. So I have received the mail AVSoft Spring Boot email. So hi, this is AVSoft. So in that way, we can send the email using the Spring Boot application. So that's all about this video. If you like, please share and subscribe. Thank you.